What is up kau tutang dila? So it's been a while since I upload new videos on my YouTube kasi I'm taking care of my daughters and syempre loving loving mamay. Yeah. Uh, but today, 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 we will talk about not tying. <laughs> I will show you the two knot tying that I most commonly use on board the vessel. And if you want to know how to splice the rope, visit Kuya Ford's YouTube channel. I will leave the description down below. He created a video about back splicing and splicing of the rope. So visit his channel. So, but today I will show you the two common knot tying that I use on board. Uh, did I repeat it? Uh, the most common uh, knot tying I use on board is uh, club hitch and bowline. <laughs> bowline. I usually use club hitch and bowline. This is most commonly used uh, on board for lowering and uh, like heaving up something from the cargo holds and lowering something in the cargo holds and heaving up something in the cargo holds and what <laughs> now uh, i will show you how to make a club hitch so club hitch you will use you will just do this and yeah and this and you will have club hitch when you lock it there how to make sample wait lang a few moments later so this is it so when you need to lower a paint under the cargo hold or inside the cargo hold i usually use a uh, club hitch and uh I always forget the bowline. Yon. So club beach is simple. Here I have here the bucket of paint. <laughs> no, it's just the bucket that the uh, uh, I put the uh, water for washing my wet wet. <laughs> <laughs> to do the club beach, you will just put it like this and over, and then you need to cross it here. Continue like that and then you need to put it inside here so there you will have a club hitch so it's very difficult to remove but it's very easy no huh? what huh? Huh? it's very secure it will not release but if you will just push this other line this other end you will have it free very fast so yeah so that's why i usually use this or most common seaman or most common sailor use this to lower the paint or other stuff that you need inside the cargo hold so you will just Bira! like that and then you lower like that yeah. By the way, when you need to lower some things or some stuff under or inside the cargo hold, you need to shout for the guys inside so they will be aware that you are lowering something. It's very uh, unsafe if you will lower anything without any uh, warning. Just give them a big shout. So of course, when you need to lower something heavier, you need to secure it like this. Yeah. yeah so it you you will be sure that it will not really release or it will not let go it might break here but it will not let go let it go let it go <laughs> so that is club hitch you can also use this when you need to lower brooms or sticks uh, because sometimes brooms or sticks are difficult to heave up because they are 
separating from each other. I think they are fighting from long time ago. I don't know, but so let's say this is the telescopic stick, but it's part of my antenna for TV. So let's say you need to heave up a stick and broom, and usually it goes like this. But if you will use club hitch over under cross the line over under and put it inside the hole like that so that like that and you can see that it's flying away but you need to secure it here so you will make a like this i don't know why i don't know the club here the, the tying i don't know but this is how to secure it. Comment down below what the kind of nut is this. Because uh, I just do it. So like that. And it's very easy and very simple to pull up on the deck. And this one is more easier, more simply. And it's very easy to heave up on deck so yeah yeah so this one i always use when pulling up sticks and brooms and uh, shovels and everything that is long telescopic uh, sticks usually for painting and uh, like that so it's more easier for the guy up there on the deck to heave up the sticks and the club hitch usually get more tight when you pull the other end so you see when you pull this, it will become more tight and more tight. But it's very easy to release like this. That is club hitch when you make it more tight. And when you pull it up, this one, this is lock club hitch. But when you pull it up and up and up, it will be more tighter and tighter. But it's still very easy to release yeah <laughs> so now i will show you how to make a bow line so here is the other end of the line here right here and you need to make a circle here like this so put the other end of the line inside that so and then uh, how to show it to you like that so this is the cross inside and then you need to mm, yeah. here let's make like this inside the hole around and back I don't know if you can see it clearly but I hope so and then you need to pull the uh, this one other end and there you have a bow line is it nice? <laughs> more time, one more time. So a little bit put inside from the back and then turn there and then go back inside the hole. Yeah. And then pull this other end and then you will have the bow line. Bow line I usually use also for lowering or if you have plenty of buckets of paint, empty buckets of paint, bowline are the most common uh, knot tying that you can use. <clears throat> so get like this under circle, 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 behind, over, and cross. Oh, it's mistake again. Oh no, it's not mistake. So yeah, so that is the bow line. I always, like I said, I always make mistake because what I do to make a bow line is like this. Let me show you. It's more faster and it's more simply to make this. So I usually make like this. There is your bow line. It's difficult to see, but uh, it's this is the one that I get used to 
on making a bow line. It's for me, it's more faster and uh, for you know when when you need to lower a rope or you need to give the line on the mooring mans, you need to be fast. So that's what I practice the fast, faster bow line. So I will show you how to make it. You will just cross inside, put here, here, and then pull the other end of the line. And you will have the bow line there. I'll put it in slide. Eh, on the flash, and not the flash. Eh. And of course, don't forget to secure the other end of the line to make sure that it will not slip. <laughs> Yo, sleep pala yun. So that's it guys. That is the two most common knot tying that I use on board uh, for lowering paints or carrying up, fill up, pulling it up on deck. I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and also hit the bell button to know if I upload new videos on my youtube channel and don't forget to uh, write your comment down below on the knot tying that i don't know how to do i don't know the name but i know how to do ah no good ah. so yeah uh, please don't forget to comment down below uh, if you want to know any other knot tying that uh, you want to know again again don't forget to subscribe thank you bye you can make a bow line for a few seconds and then they can pull it up.